What's up guys, welcome to your 8th Premiere Pro tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over the timeline. Now the timeline should be at the bottom of your screen right here. And it's probably the most important part of your entire project. Um, what the timeline is, if you couldn't already figure it out, which you pretty much can just by looking at it. It pretty much is the way you arrange all of your clips and audio files to, uh, you know, arrange them. Uh, you can change the size of them, you can cut them, you can shrink them. You pretty much take care of all of your files or video down here. So, as you can see right here, I have three clips. Um, and you can go ahead and just arrange them by uh, holding them and dragging them into place. Or if you want to delete one, just go ahead and click one, press delete. And then you can go ahead and slide another one into place. And uh, this is how you can use different clips to edit together and make a movie. So, uh, first thing you probably notice is all these widgets and gadgets and toolbars and everything like that around the timeline panel. So, let's go ahead and figure out what uh, all these do. And I'm sorry if it sounds uh, windy in here, but it's about uh, 105 degrees in my room because my air conditioner broke. So, uh... And there's a cricket chirping outside, and it's the most goofiest sounding cricket in the world. But, anyways, back to the timeline. Uh, the first thing you want to pr probably take note of is this thing right here. This is the time display. And this is where in your movie, and I'm talking like this whole entire thing is movie, where in your movie your current time indicator is. So, for example, if you want to 30 edit uh, like something into 30 seconds, like add a title or something. What you need to do is drag this thing, this blue little triangle with the red uh, little bar down. This is called the current time indicator. And this is how you change different points in time in the movie. And now, as you slide this, you can see that your time is moving. So let's go ahead and slide that to 30 seconds. Uh, I don't want to get exact because... And now, so pretty much now we know what two things are. The time display, which shows what time in your movie you are and the current time indicator and this is how you change through points in your movie now as you can see these little things um, these little video layers you can see them uh, visually or if you press this little arrow right here uh, it changes the um, appearance of it but there's also another way to change the appearance of it and that's this little button right here and this is the display style so what this is called right here is the first frame and each clip is called the head and the last frame is called the tail so if you want to show head and tail uh, guess what one you choose show head and tail if you want to show frames like each um, frame throughout the thing then you want to do show frames I like show head only just because I only need a starting point and if you show anything else um, it kind of gets all jumbled together. If you put show frames, then when you're looking at it, you don't really know what one, where one ends and where one begins just by looking at it. So, you probably want to do show head only. Um, another thing that you might find useful is when you're working with different um, layers and overlapping them and stuff like this, you probably want to be able to toggle one of these off and on. So, as you can see, when you toggle this off or on by clicking the eye it's still there but in your preview you can't see it so what the eye does and this is called uh... what is that called um... track output i think let's hover over and see if we can find an answer yep toggle track output this pretty much means the visibility and even though it's still there uh... if you have like a bunch of layers and stuff and things get too confusing you can just uh, click one of those and it pretty much just like it says makes it visible or invisible but if you export it it's still gonna be there so now that's bring me that's bring me what the heck does that mean that brings me to our two last and most confusing things this first little bar right here which I didn't even it's probably hard to see this is pretty much not pretty much this is called the viewing area bar this is pretty much the zoom level and it just shows how much you want to view so you can either slide it or you can grab one of these corners and you can either view more or less of your uh, project another thing which you probably never want to touch is this thing right here this is called the work area bar 
and this is uh, pretty much where you're working and when we get in exporting and previewing stuff like that um, that's when we'll do that but for now don't ever touch this and you probably don't ever want to touch this ever I've been working with Premiere Pro for a long time and I never touch this or this um, more useful if you want to view more or less of where you're working you probably want to use this little thing down here this is the zoom so see for example say for example you wanna edit this part of your clip right here what you want to usually do is move your current time indicator to that clip and just zoom it right in there and then bam you can edit that right there so those are the basic properties of the timeline panel and once we start working with clips you'll get more familiar with it but I just want to show you what every little teeny widget and gadget was for now and um in the next tutorial we're going to be going over the monitor monitor panels i can't talk right today but uh for now that's all you get so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time